good early bacon smelling morning. We're so <laughs> glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. We've kind of been making it a habit to uh, take a walk down Park Avenue yeah, after, after church. church. We usually get a coffee and a little pastry. Ah, I'm spilling! You okay? Yeah, fine. Okay. Um, <laughs> I got up, we've had a productive morning already. Yeah. Got up, I ran four miles, mm -hmm. took a shower, and now we've gone to church. Yeah. I'm gonna do a little stroll before we go home and really get the day going. Yeah. This is one of the few restaurants and places that really makes me want to break being vegan because all we hear is amazing things about this Briar Patch restaurant and ice cream parlor. It always has a line. It says there's some um, vegan options. But there's always a line again, and everybody we've ever talked to in the whole world that's ever eaten there <laughs> says it's amazing. All right, we are home. We've been home for a while. I am watching more reviews on camera lenses for this camera. You know, buying to us, we haven't bought a second set of glass for this camera. So, like, I think the 22 is going to be great, but I just, like, want to make sure it's really going to be great. So, I'm watching reviews from a vlogger's perspective. 22 millimeters is great for photo from what I've seen. Getting, seeing mixed reviews and vlogging. So, I'm going to look at those. But I'm going to make some of this coffee that I got this Equal Exchange Fair Trade Coffee Love Buzz from Kayla and Karen on the old setup here. So, I got to grind it up, get it going on my little stack here and uh, put away the dishes that I cleaned yesterday. You know, Mrs. Sneeze a lot over there, editing away. And a very tired puppy. Oh gosh. Thank There's you. a little brunchy snack for Sarah. So she doesn't like tortillas. But a little bit of toast. Wheat. Every once in a while I like tortilla, but... With some flaxseed on there. I know Eve was going to want some. How's the vlog looking? Good. I'm almost done. Then we're going shopping. Finally, getting out our giveaways, plus our giveaways from the live stream yesterday, so we're not gonna get behind again. expecting to come to Epcot today. No, we had plans to go to Magic Kingdom. That still might happen with yeah. some friends. Yeah. But since they're still figuring out their plans, we yeah. decided to come to Epcot, do the DVC Lounge. Guys, we made a decision on a lens. Yeah. We just won't have it for hopefully four or five days. But it'll be worth it. It's like, be it's because it. we're, we're getting one that's better, we have to wait a little longer. It's a Sigma 16 millimeter F-stop 1.4. Gonna have some good bokeh which means blurred background, yeah, really, really good, good glass, quality. much better quality than, than what we have, and I think we have great quality. Yeah. You know what to do, you know what time it is, it's coffee, DVC time. I just want to put these in there. Oh, yeah. There we go. 4,000 coffee. All right, it's kind of busy up there, we've got the most perfect two seats. I don't know how. But something cool that I've never seen happen in the DVC lounge happened. Never. What on earth? Mulan display. So there's a backdrop from a scene. The Mulan costume. What? And look at the famous sword and sheath replica from the movie. That is insane. Hey, this reminds me, we can order our tickets on AMC. So we should do that right now. I got pop number 4,000 down, working on my coffee. And we just got some Oreos. Yes. We said we'd stay up here for two snacks, but I think we just missed the first snack when we got up here. Yeah. So we've been up here for a while already. Yeah, we'll but see. We'll see, it's a relaxing time. Alrighty, so we're actually gonna go on Figment. It's only five minute wait. Um, but right behind me, that looks like that's where the butterfly garden is gonna go this year for the Flower and Garden Festival. There's so much construction going on where it typically is, so that's just our, our best guess. Also, Festival of the Arts had butterfly murals on that wall, which I don't know if it's actually gone or not, so that would kind of make sense. I haven't been on this in forever. Hello. 
on your tour, you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. Can I go? Please, please, please. No, I don't want you out of my sight. Out of sight? Okay. Come on, everybody. Here we go. Figment, you are not to interfere with the tour. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. Now, all together, if you would please be like this. <laughs> with F-I-G-F-E-N-T, you can see things differently. It's always a good time to use your imagination. So let the good times roll. And so, as you can plainly see, imagination works the best when it's set free. You said it, Doc! Imagination is a blast! This is the first time we've seen the actual joy in meet and greet. It's a super cute backdrop and set up at Imagination Land. I think we should watch this movie. Yeah. Again. And yeah. then of course Vanellope and Rex and Ralph over there. Over there. <laughs> We're off to do the shot. We've literally just been standing in the bridge area by those flowers to get an awesome shot of Monero. Maybe we'll put it in right here. Yeah. Um, we met some wonderful people. We met yeah. a YouTube channel, Hughes and Bruce. Yeah. They're like a Disney They're local bar. They're too, but like mostly about the lounges and the bars and stuff. So, so check, we'll check them out. out. We'll We're going to check them the, out. We'll link it in the bio. They were super nice. And then we met a family from Houston, not Houston, but yeah. I don't, are they from yeah, Houston? Yeah, they're from Houston. Okay. Yeah. A family that moved here from Houston. My family lived in Houston, so I, that's why I was nervous that wasn't right. Uh -huh. They just moved here a couple days ago, so it was awesome to meet you guys. Yeah. I'm sure we'll run into you again. Days. Yeah. And, uh, so nice. It's like it's probably 70 degrees with yeah. a cool breeze. Just... It is the perfect world showcase perusing right. temperature. Like you're not cold and you're not sweaty. Right. 6.06, six minutes into our two hour window. We're back at Epcot. We decided we're not leaving it here. We're just going to yeah. do the shot in here it's and leave. Like, it's the perfect temperature outside, so we're just going to hold it. And yeah. just get comfortable. Yeah. So we walk in circles. This is my favorite one still. She says this, this rains as the best room. We're going to go to Animal Kingdom this weekend. Check out that one. It's the only one we haven't checked out yet. Yeah. Oh, I just saw, I forgot to tell you. Oh, no. What? No, I feel like Schmidt from the off, uh, from New Girl. Um, I saw the Ann and Elsa topiary is out. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm trying to figure out when Little Women is coming to streaming because we need to buy it right now. Uh -huh. Even though they're still in theaters, one show time a day at noon-ish. We're thinking of maybe going to the movie tonight. We haven't quite this We've been rocking, we bought our Mulan yeah. tickets and we bought our Onward tickets and we want to see uh, the photograph potentially tonight. Yeah. Um, we're going to throw in a photo here. Uh, so many photos! How risky we were just now with our camera because we put this camera on the other side of the ledge trying to get that last time lapse. I love the thrill of risking our camera falling into Disney World waters. We're going into the Regal Eagle Smokehouse and I'm gonna take a shot of barbecue sauce. Sarah should just said there's a bar of sauce. Yeah. That's from, um... Something. This is definitely from the Smokehouse during Flower and Garden. I hope they use it again, or maybe they won't. But Sarah pointed out, there's an outside bar. I feel like we knew nothing about this place. Oh yeah, look at the decorations. Woodland spring water, Nicola and Marie spring water, vinegar leaf, yes. They all smoke like a sauce competition. Oh. There's different competitions going on. There's the brisket, blue ribbon biscuit society, the sizzle and pit coalition. So this is, this is well done. Yeah. I've heard like reviews have been really good. Always suggest the mobile order. It looks and smells divine. Oh, good old George. Nothing like some quilt squares for our friend Lauren to check out. Also, do you notice that 
Uh, there's a self serve pop machine. Yeah, because Monster Free Carla is gone. Okay, I'm gonna try to get the Aerie sauce. Okay, so we got got the Regal Eagle Small Cup ketchup, the Blue Ridge Vinegar League vinegar based sauce, the Mustard Old Glory sweet mustard sauce. Got the blue ribbon brisket sauce, savory spices. I wanna try that. We just tried the vinegar league and it's super good and super vinegary. And then the sizzling pit dry rub, classic smokehouse sauce, and then the ketchup that they got doubles of. All right, so here's got the spicy sauce. It's peppery. And here's the dry rub. Classic smokehouse sauce. This tastes like Burger King. Ooh. But I love her. <laughs> I gotta get in here. All right, the decisions have been made. We're not going to meet up with our friends. They're staying home. Mm -hmm. And we are going to go see the photograph yes. at Disney's AMC Dining Theaters. Stretching out the weekend a little Just longer. Because we had a relaxing morning and a relaxing day. And yesterday was kind of relaxing too. Like yeah. We didn't go out till later. It does feel like it's midnight though because we got up at, my alarm went off at five, but then you woke, I woke up at six, but then I didn't get out of bed. And then you told me at 6.40 to get out of bed. And yeah. I finally got on my run at like seven. Yeah. So it's been a long day and we got up, I did an early-ish run yesterday. Yeah, but it's just been good. So. It's been a great weekend, so we're, we're gonna, gonna go. Um, it sounds like the UK is trying to extend its weekend. They're still rocking and rolling. And it's almost eight. Woo! Now I know this walkway, I don't actually know if this walkway is going to last forever, but it is honestly the best view of Spaceship Earth I think anyone could ever imagine. Because you can see, if this fence wasn't here, you can see the entire thing, bottom to top. All right, with 40 minutes before, yeah, we got plenty of time. Um, what's it called? The Trailers. Oh. Um, we are here. We got plenty of time, enough to, enough to get a popcorn and eat a sec and get a second popcorn. Yes. Which is always a great idea, and then it's a it's bad enough, idea. It's a, a big platform. With the AMC A list, you also get like a subs reward, and so you pay for a medium but get a large. And you get a free refill of that large. And you like put lots of hot sauce on it. And, and jalapenos. You get heartburn. Yes. Here we go, March 6th. We will be here. We got our tickets already. And in Dobie. Did we say that? We got Dobie tickets for that and Mulan. Opening night. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we got our popcorn. This is the earliest I truly think we will have ever been. They won't, We can't even get seated right now. Nope. So we're going to go yeah, sit on the comfy couch for a little bit. Eat some popcorn and just relax. Yeah. All right, we're in our seats. We're ready to go. You ready? We already ate one. This is just a kicker. Please, put your phone down. Oh. Ooh, so that was a good one. Really good one. Sarah put it perfectly when we were walking out of the movie theater. It was just a plain old, good old story. Yeah. Nothing think, crazy, nothing too dramatic, just yeah. a good old story. It was also like really intentional and almost like slow movie. Because it like didn't feel like a movie, it felt like like real life. Yeah. I don't know, it was really good. We gotta go home to eat. Yeah, oh, let's go. We gotta do something first. What? Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, show me. Yeah. You know, we have to at least look at it. I didn't think it was gonna be open still, but apparently it's still open. Maybe for the next 10 minutes, I don't know, but. Uh, now we can go. We are home and this tiny pup wants some treats. We have two messages today. The world is before you and you need not take it or leave it as it was when you came in. James Arthur Baldwin. Lovely. Okay, be kind. For everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle, Plato. That is so true. We just played really hard with Eve and she's like splooted in the kitchen. <laughs> like exhausted. so exhausted. Um, Peter's got a roll, I'm gonna lay down and we're going to bed. It is good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. 
And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.